we're going to have to evacuate this area very shortly. Good morning, it is Sunday the 15th of November and today we're expecting a good storm. As a perspective, I just want to show you the little beach here. Uh, the water's quite low at the moment, there's no storm surge as of yet. Uh, the water's just slightly touching the wall behind us. Uh, we have quite a lot of beach. But I'm sure that's going to change in the next couple of hours as the wind shift uh, happens around about lunchtime, uh, which should force the winds to come and the water to come right over this way. changing direction and it's now starting to push the water up you can actually feel the wind change a couple of goals here now what I recommend is uh, don't park too close to that wall as you saw all those little stones on the ground there, when those waves start hitting those rocks, uh, that's what gets tossed up. Even bigger ones later on, and they will damage your car, trust me. Just behind me is a line of fast moving thunderstorms uh, coming in which just appeared on radar. Uh, literally about 10 minutes away, a lot of droppage in it, it's heading our way. I've got the GoPro set up doing a time lapse. Uh, the clouds are looking pretty neat and this is going to be fast moving in. And we believe this is what's going to bring that surge in, uh, the siege, which will end up pushing the waters up really, really high here. The winds behind it should be really, really strong. Reports on Twitter under the hashtag of Ontario Storm are showing some major damage in places. Uh, some amazing footage on Twitter and also on Facebook. Uh, so make sure you check that out uh, later on when you watch this video. Just put in Twitter hashtag Ontario Storm, ON Storm, and you'll see it all. So uh, we're just staying tight because it uh, looks like uh, things are really going to kick off now.
head over the freaking rocks now. Anyone with a light car's going to just float away like these guys are parked here. Oh, the dog's completely screwed. Completely screwed. I'm just going to try and zoom in so you can see that. Uh, give me a second. There you go, my finger. Right, there's the dog. And there's the other one completely broken. Okay, we now have a massive surge here. Oh, there's the dock in the, in the water down there, in the bay. He's, he's in front of that car. Two of them. Three of them. All right, I don't even see this. All right. I know it's going to pick it up, but the boat launch is down there. Wow, he smashed the pieces. There's no rain right now, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take you down to the boat launch. So just bear with me. I'll walk down there. You can see it. I'm just going to put my truck in a better position. I'll quickly just show you. So I'm just literally put the flashing lights on. Look at these waves coming up now. Whoa. Okay, these cars are getting hit. Rick, look at the dock. Look at the dock. Folks, what you're looking at right now is the boat ramp at Fort Erie. Uh, in the last, oh wow, look at the water coming up, Rick. Look at the water coming up. In the last five minutes, the water's really come up really high. Uh, looks like most people are leaving here. There's only us left. <laughs> so we're going to have to evacuate this area very shortly. This is uh, getting pretty critical right now. That, but I've never ever seen water like that ever before at the boat launch. Completely flooded from one end to the other. Completely. It's a shame it went dark, so I don't. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at
there's about 10 parking spaces there. Not right now, there's not. be in trouble. Give you a size perspective there. Put my foot on this one as well. You see the size. This is a bit thicker. That video I put on YouTube yesterday, uh, just before we actually evacuate this area, this is exactly where I was parked, right here. Now check out this, check out these rocks, huge. They get bigger. on your own. Uh, the other side of the boat ramp, the uh, dock is completely gone, washed away somewhere. This side is completely uh, smashed up. The floaty bits have gone. I know at some point, maybe in one of my videos, we did see it. We did see the floats, which are underneath the dock, like just bobbing around on the lake before it went too dark. for just getting you surf up. Look at that. Shade it right off. In comparison to the storm we had back in uh, 2019, Halloween, this one was much, much bigger. 